Prime Minister Narendra Modi held bilateral talks with the Australian counterpart Anthony Albanese. Both the leaders are in Tokyo for the fourth interaction of the Quad Leaders Summit. Delhi Chief Minister of NK Jival flagged off 150 electric buses at IP Extension Bus Depot. He said that the Delhi government has launched electric buses with an aim to launch a total of 2,000 electric buses within a year. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and U.S. President Joe Biden signed investment incentive agreement in Tokyo. PM Modi said that India-U.S. will witness concrete progress in this regard. Flash floods and landslides in India's northeast Assam state killed at least 25 people and over 650,000 displaced from their homes in the past 10 days. Authorities have also set up 366 relief camps across 20 districts, providing temporary shelter for more than 95,000 people. U.S. President Joe Biden held a bilateral meeting with Prime Minister Narendra Modi in Tokyo. The U.S. President expressed his happiness over the renewal of India-U.S. vaccine action program. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida addressed the media after the Quad Summit 2022. The Japanese Prime Minister assured that the four nations in the Quad committed that the unilateral change of status quo by force will not be allowed in any region. Chinese and Russian fighters' jets carried out joint flights near Japan as leaders of the Quad bloc met in Tokyo. The Japanese Defense Ministry said Novo Kishi said the government has expressed grave concerns to Russia and China over the flights. Deepika Padukone made a stunning red carpet appearance at the Cannes Film Festival. The actor attended the screening of the film decision to lead in a sequined black gown with a small train. The actor is among the eight-member jury at the festival this year. World Challengers Bangalore legend A.B. De Villiers is set to return to the Indian Premier League in the 2023 edition. De Villiers, who retired from all forms of cricket after IPL 2021, will be back with the franchise in the same capacity with whom he played in the IPL for 11 seasons while hoping that he can return to the city of Bangalore as well.